So here we are again. Welcome lovers of African democracy. Today I am going to solve the problems of Botswana. Which I think we can agree is going to be incredibly easy. Um, possibly not. Let's give it a go. Uh, this is Democracy 3 Africa. I am... Uh, Kodo, one of the designers of the game, it is still in development at the moment. So, here we are in Botswana. Uh, only uh, 1.8 million citizens. GDP disastrous, health disastrous. Crime not too bad. So, what crime we do have would appear to be armed robbery. We can sort that, no problem. Um, there's a few new things here. If you've played Democracy, uh, the the kind of like conventional version, you'll you'll wonder what some of this stuff is. So, endangered species. We need to keep an eye on this, obviously, um, giving us a boost to tourism as long as they're endangered and not extinct. We don't have any Jurassic Park style simulation over here. This is. A kind of a step towards a modern economy in that we actually have a stock exchange which is which is good and we have minimal wealth excellent not exactly leading us to huge huge prosperity but there you go a bit of a deficit and a bit of debt and you also will be wondering what that is game hunting restrictions okay where to start everybody hates us obviously um, or rather as the game models it everyone would not vote for us unless we fix all this stuff we do have a lot of problems here uh, this is a teacher strike that's a general strike all kinds of lack of technology and competitiveness um, we have a problem with HIV uh, maybe we should just like emigrate but no we are going to fix this. We're going to fix it or we're going to try. So, hmm, I think the worst problems are going to be the general strike. Oh, also we have malaria. My God. Um, which is impacted. Quality in education, private health care. So, foreign aid. We are getting a lot of foreign aid, but not enough to make a difference. Right then. Okay. Oh. Do we fix the economy or do we make people like us? Obviously, it's the, s the start of the term, so we can do unpopular stuff now. The, the deficit, and I reckon that's because we've probably got no GDP at all. No. Complete disaster. Strike. Skill shortage. So... I think we're going to have to throw a little bit of money at fixing the strike problem. So what I'm going to do is childcare provision, reducing unemployment, reducing gender inequality as well, which is good. And I am going to actually throw a bit of money in the way of food stamps. Have some food stamps and come back to work. That's my message, my message to you. I don't have an enormous amount of political power so there's not that much I can do at the moment. Now, that's specific to Botswana. I'll go to the next turn. Because what I can do is kind of seize power from the people to, to an extent within Democracy 3 Africa. Uh, this is not a big deal, but I'm, I'm going to ban it because health is pretty bad. Okay, okay. There's going to be no sign of this. Oh, not bad, not bad. So, yeah, we need to do something about unemployment, childcare provision. Science funding is not too bad, actually. I'm going to double it. Because that's the kind of guy I am. That's my priorities. Um, what do the environmentalists think? They're okay. We do actually have quite a few liberals here. And they are upset by some of our policies here. I'm going to go for a lot more press freedom. Now, it's actually, press freedom is an interesting case. Because if, if you look at it here, you might think, well, what's the downside? 
of doing this. If you if you put in place moves that have a lot more democracy, you are kind of taking steps towards reducing your own political power, which means you you actually have less political capital. So if I had to really turn the country around, I'm, I might not be interested in press freedom. I might be interested in just having as much power as possible. But I'm not going to go down that route this time. I'm going to try and govern like a like a nice guy. Hmm. 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 I really need to fix this general strike. We don't. Uh, d right. Okay. If we have armed. Oh, that's going down. That that's fixed. So basically, what I want to do is I want to throw money at the problem slightly in a sort of Keynesian way. And I'm wondering where best to do that. Excellent schools. I bet our healthcare sucks. Mm, well. Okay, I'm going to go with free school meals, which studies uh, studies show is a good way of reducing poverty because it impacts so early. So where do I get with that? Yes, no armed robbery. People of Botswana, you owe me. Uh, children's food, we shall regulate that. We want decent food for our children. Residential credit. This is a good step. This is like moving us, you know, towards better GDP and a sort of more modern economy. I suspect GDP is going to be unaffected at the moment, but I think things will turn around when that drops. And it's worth pointing out that the actual global economy sucks. So we have to take that into account. This is the kind of argument that's made uh, in, in British politics to some extent um, at the moment where because the economy, because the global economy is in a bit of a state and because we have a good credit rating and not an insane amount of debt, then really we should be, we should have a deficit. That is one argument. I'm not saying it's a good or bad argument. I'm just saying that... Um, this is a philosophy that some people believe in. So in other words, we should be investing in infrastructure. And we do have health problems. We have malaria, not in the UK, as you point out, um, and AIDS. Our education's pretty good, though. We're really going to have to go for it health-wise to, to fix this. So that's going... I think we can do that. We're going to do, do that. It'll take a while to kick in anyway. Um, again, nobody actually likes me. Um, welcome to my world. I'm a bit worried about the Liberals. Actually, nah, nothing too worrying there. The Liberals are pretty upset by child labour. But this is the, this horrible dilemma that child labour is good for our economy at this economy type. So, <laughs> you know, can't make an omelette, etc. Oh yes. Okay, well this, you know, that's that's pretty good. Yes, health is going up. It's this bloody strike. I think at this point what we need is we need to just shoot everyone on strike. I know I said I was going to be a good guy and liberal, but, you know, you get to a point where you just think, fucking shoot them. Um, maybe not. Oh, look. Oh, jury trial. That, uh, liberals love that. Uh, freedom of information. Yes. This is interesting because I'm like, Fixing corruption here, which if you're one of the state employees that does rather nicely out of it, thank you very much. You, you know, you you won't like that. Um, I don't really want to upset conservatives too much, so that's a problem. I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to leave that at the default, but you know, I've put that in place now. Malaria is down. That'll be announced on the news. The malaria index is down. Ban same-sex marriage. I was just... <laughs> it'd be ridiculous. No problem with that. So the problem is, I mean, we, you know, we head towards elections and, um, and people are not, people are unhappy. Surely, oh, 
Come on, come on. Maybe if we give everyone a job in the military. That's possibly not a good plan. Possibly not a good plan. Actually, the deficit is pretty... You know, there's being Keynesian and then there's just getting drunk and spending everything. Where are we on that that axis? Hmm. A typical scene in Democracy 3, someone going, hmm. So, you know, technology backwater, that's a thing. Ah, see, this is it. This is it. I really just want to go full on evolution, but nobody will let me do that yet. I wonder if I should save political capital for that. And pollution. Hmm, 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 hmm. Right, so skill shortage, skill shortage. Do we have adult education subsidies? Aha. Okay, this is always a good one. It's a good one because it's quite quick. I mean, you know, two years, but... but I'm just going to plow on there and see what happens. Liberals will be really upset if I just gun down the protesters, won't they? Um, budget deficit. Polls do not look good. No shit. Um, what have we actually done to our country? We basically made it more liberal. I mean, you know. Gender inequality has gone up. That's a bit embarrassing. Okay, right, here we go. Gender representation method. Measures. And there was another one. Oh, I've got enough power. Never give up power. It's always a pain getting it back. In fact, seize power whenever you can. Okay, that, that, that's got to be good. So hopefully now... Yes, so like next turn. You know, that means it's just been evaluated. So next turn... We won't have a general strike. Hopefully we'll, we will have the beginnings of some sort of basic bloody economy. Oh, look, you can see. It's just... Um, trade union is unhappy. But I, I have decided not to care about them. Um, so... Keeping the middle income people happy is difficult. Um, because it's very expensive. Because it basically means... You know, dropping inheritance tax and income tax. So I don't think I can do that, but there's a lot of urban at the moment. And traffic congestion is really going to shoot up if the economy takes off. So I am going to encourage a bit of telecommuting, which is, I think you'll agree, is one of Botswana's most needed policies. Um, I'm going to subsidize buses. I don't care about the cost. Give me Botswana bus. Oh. So look at that. I don't even know how I managed to fix desertification. Um, you know, it's, that was another department, I think. But I've done it. That's the main thing. This is a, a, a general alleviating of, of, of poverty. Yes. See, this is the problem. This is, uh, this is why... I'm very proud of this game because it does kind of bring all these debates out into the open as it were. I, I've gone full Keynesian. I've spent loads of money in a recession because I needed to kickstart my economy and get it out of the dip that it's in. And that's great but the, the, the bond market has sort of said, yeah, we're not going to get our money back, are we? So hopefully I can turn that around because sudden boom. I mean, we have fixed everything. There should be a boom. So actually, I think that that deficit, which admittedly is a bit of a car crash at the moment, um, that deficit should should change enormously. Um, I hope so. Our debt is actually quite small, so that, that debt interest going up, not too worried about it. Um, I haven't paid any attention to my endangered species. Um, that was a bit naughty. Mineral wealth, ah, over time, decreasing. But, you know, what can you do, eh? Right then, and uh, 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 popularity awaits, I reckon. 
we now need to to do something about the debt problem, don't we? Really. I'm just going to thunder through to the next turn to see how things are. Unhappy minister, yeah, deal with it. Liberals, I am your friend. Shit. Shit. What the fuck happened? Um. Oh my god. What's happened? Ugh. And I now have a. This must turn around in a minute. What has happened to GDP? I mean, I know that was a bit of a, a bit of a boom earlier, but uh, there's traffic congestion, uncompetitive economy. Oh, the downgrade. Yeah, people will get over that. Um, so yeah. Oh dear. Right. Okay. We need to fix this. Tough on traffic congestion. Tough on the causes of traffic congestion. This is good because it, it gets people on buses and out of cars and parents also like the fact that their their kids are going to school by bus and bus lanes doesn't cost anything really so th that's why that appeals to me gridlock fuck it okay yeah but you know it's just a, a momentary gridlock so i don't care we do get a lot of aid for this yes oh yes oh yes let, let us see what we have achieved. A lot of people don't know that you can look here and just sort of see what you've done. And this is interesting because this is modern politics, isn't it? Because modern politics is here. And we go... And that's it. You know, nobody goes full... Well, unless you're Trump, I guess. And it's just kind of um, so we haven't actually changed a lot. <sighs> people who know me well will just chuckle at this. We cannot have this. So, I need to do something about that. Actually, look, the environmentalists are, um, are not happy people. You know, banning smoking in public doesn't compensate for, like, trebling CO2. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to do... Oh, I can't do an airline tax yet. Uh, uh, right, okay. Okay. Do we have any sort of pollution controls? We don't. No wonder we are living in a smoky hellhole. Um, no offence to people in Botswana. This is just a simulated Botswana. So technology is not good. So schools are good, but technology is not good. I, I'm going to spend yet more money here on technology grants. Come on, Botswana and startups. Do I want to harbour rebel forces? That normally goes badly, doesn't it? I think. I'm not going to get involved in that. Gridlock down. GDP. Yes, that was just a minor expansion problems. No, nothing to worry about. I presume everyone loves me. Yep. Or what? No, uh, nobody wants to kill me kind of the same thing isn't it so we are now very popular but that doesn't mean we will win any election because there's only 1840 people in our party thankfully we've kind of eroded the other party's uh, popularity and at this rate bloody malaria do you think that's what it's like in a cabinet in Botswana when they're deciding what to do and then someone just says bloody malaria um hmm it's really tough to beat those it's really tough our health is pretty good isn't it uh no private health care but that's uh that's just a symptom of our Keynesianness. So is it mostly... Hmm... It's more malaria that I... Uh, it, that's going to be very hard to beat. Need more education, foreign aid... Hmm... And our economy type... Mm, yeah, I would have thought we'd have... We'd be doing better against malaria there. Anyway, let's plough on. 
Let's plow on. The game is not complete or balanced. Um, I think Bobo and Como just has a better name. Um, and Liberals, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Look at that, a surplus. They said it couldn't be done. Um, I honestly thought I would lose. So, and how is GDP is pretty good. GDP is pretty good. Is it just one turn? So let us see what I have achieved. What is my legacy to Botswana? My most unpopular policy is child labour. Mm, well, that is pretty embarrassing. Basically, I've wrecked the environment and pushed down productivity. And... Um, and taken a load of other countries' money, pushed up my level of debt hugely, and managed to fix everything by moving very slightly to the left and liberal. I've basically been a good manager, I think. A manager without principles. Look at... Oh. Oh. We didn't really need our activists. We were just... We were just better. And 55% of the vote, so by any measure, um, I rock. So there you go. You too will soon be able to fix Botswana. Um, what more do you want from games? This has been yet another playthrough of the in development, not even in beta yet, version of Democracy 3 Africa. And it will be coming soon, and no doubt it's going to be even more awesome by the time it ships. Thanks for watching.